using the dim t edit command. The dim t edit command provides additional methods in which we can change the placement of the dimension text. Let's start with the stretch command. When we select on an object, we can stretch this text. Uh, so we can stretch it any direction we want with the dimension line or, or just going sideways. If we want to go just left and right, we can do that. Or we can go up and, and over. So the stretch command moves, moves it around. Move with dimension line. So when I pick on this, and I say move with dimension line so I can now move the text and it'll stay with the dimension line so it, uh, the text is always with the dimension line so even if I move it over the text will stay with the dimension line if I say I want to move text only move text only I can move the text out to any location I'm not exactly fond of that for obvious reasons now. Why is that number way up there? I can move with a leader. So I can pick and I come down and say move with a leader. So I can come in here now and say ah in this tight area here I can have a leader going down and showing that tight location there. I can say above dimension line. So I can grab and I say above the dimension line. Now it jumps above the dimension line. In this case, it's the leader line. It pops up above. I can center vertically. So I can grab onto that and say center vertically. And it j puts it in the middle of the dimension line, like in its normal default position, if you will. And I can reset the text position. So if I had something like text floating around up here or up here, I can grab this, I come down and say reset that, and it'll automatically put it back to where it originally was. Likewise, I can come over here and reset that text position, and it'll go back to where it was over there. So the dim t edit command provides us with different ways of of moving the text around. Also I can come in and left justify. So I can pick on here. I can pick and it will go to the left. I can come up over here and center justify. And it will put it in the center. I can come over and right justify. And it will put it on the right side. And likewise I can come over here and I can put it on a particular angle. And I can say I want it at 45 degrees, and it rotates at 45 degrees. So we have a variety of ways in which we can set our, uh, our, our DT edit command uh, with some various justifications.